Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back, playing some more Legend of Arcane, Second Orc book. We're on chapter 13. This is part 3. The first part, uh, we, we won't speak of that. This is really part 2 of this attempt. We're doing okay, except we did just lose a bunch of stuff all at once. I think I need to rebuild some buildings, so I suppose let's focus on that first, and I need to just rebuild units as well. So let's, um, let's do that. Uh, we just need, we need some kind of, we need units in general, so let's just build stuff. Okay, Max Food, you all back up. And I need to, I need to consolidate until my heroes are back out, because they're all dead. So we're going to make workers. Just remake the Warforge. Oh my god. We're back to this again. Vanessa is back out. Okay, you all need to berserk and back up. Holy shit. Okay, so... Unfortunately, we got hit by this stuff, like, immediately after... ...getting back. Let's get one eye into the front and whirlwind, please. I really just need... ...one good... One good healing ward, please. Right there is fine. Vanessa is stunned again? Okay, Zelik is constantly... He's hes calling down stuff and, and hitting us, so that's why we need to back up here. All right, we have a consistent incoming attack wave. We just need to keep making stuff. Keep, keep stunning them where possible. Okay, and then back up the Witch Doctors. Just build, uh, build anything, Grunts, Maulers. If we can survive this, we have a chance, but we have we have to we have to make it through this, which is the hardest part here. That was solid right there. Just give me a roar before you die. Okay, good. Here comes some more stuff, but I think that's okay. Back up, back up, back up, back up. If we can survive long enough to get healing wards out on this guy. Amari is everybody's always stunned. <laughs> Everyone is always stunned. Ah, here comes some more stuff. Might have had a bad save here. Dragons are out. Dragons are out. We're gonna be okay. Get Vanessa and one eye back out. Not enough for a heal yet. Almost. Right there. Barakta's back out. We're hanging on for dear life. See, we're keeping it interesting, even though we had a really solid forward we had really solid forward momentum prior to this. Our allies pushing back out, good. Take some pressure off of us for some a brief moment. God, I hate you, Zelik. I hate you so much. What are we still missing? I need a research center again. Okay, make workers. Get them out here. I think it's time maybe we focus on taking some expansions. What did I make here? Elders? A fairy fire, sure. I'm not gonna say no to that. I I I Panic builds whatever I could. Okay. We're alive. We have four heroes back out, and that will never happen again. All right, we're going to be prepared for this. So repair and repair. We have workers coming out. These guys are going to intercept some dwarves, which is good. Next target will probably be this red fist base, and then the dwarves on either side. Nice work there. It's coinciding with an air attack. It's very tempting to go and attack with them again. They've got a lot of stuff here, but I need I need to rebuild. We must rebuild. Uh, we need a research research center, and then let's start queuing up some additional towers and. Whew. Okay, let's get Vanessa back out. I would really like that uh, that aura. We can switch to axe throwers here. Let's get some witch doctors. I mean, having con healing in any of these groups is just so important. We always, always need healing. And so if, if we don't have healing at a specific time, we're probably going to die. We've seen it multiple times. So that's why we always need some sort of a, a healing option at least. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna secure our borders. Man, I'd love to be up there with him. I would love to be up there. 
At the very least, if he can just destroy a couple buildings, then we'll have an opportunity to start pushing into this upper Red Fist base. That, that'll be one fewer Red Fist hero, because there's this Red Fist base and then this Red Fist base, which appear to be the last two actives. And then as far as I can tell, there are two sets of dwarves. So getting rid of any of those would obviously be great. I think we're probably going to want to focus on this Red Fist base. Then we can swing down and go for either set of dwarves. Um, if we can eliminate the main Red Fist base, that would be cool. I made that comment about how wouldn't it be interesting if somehow, um, at a certain point, the mission just ends itself because E. Dale is behind the scenes killing her father. That would be quite interesting. I'm awake. I'm awake. Okay, so Red Dragons are in good shape. Once again, we're gonna, as I had mentioned, we're gonna keep spamming out workers because I, I'm gonna try to move up and take some bases, which requires us to sit, like, out here. Whether we're further up or not doesn't really make a difference, I don't think, so we might as well just... We can also build new production. I could take this one and just... If I take this one, it's sort of a forward operating base. Oh my god. I can't not go. They're, they're doing it. Let's go. No, no, no. We're gonna go. I'll bring the dragons, too. My, my army can stay back. Well, they're not really in the Dwarven base proper. It's really hard to say. Where shall I strike? All right, send them all. Queue up some dragons. Witch doctors. We're complete. The usual. We more gold. Yeah, see, see, now we're in need of gold. I see a Dwarven attack going. If it's not going to attack my base, my then we'll be okay. If it is going to attack my base, my then... We'll have to turn around and intercept it. So this army is going to have to stay. Okay, get in here. Let's just keep an eye out and see if they go for this allied base, we're golden. But they may be coming for my base. Also, here is Pechen, so if he intercepts them with us... Never mind, he's just going to run by us. Thanks, idiot. Once again, though, this, I think, is 100% worthwhile. We have some random allied units coming in to help us. Botar Bloodstone is the biggest pain in the ass, though, so... If we can just push in here and allow our allies to just kind of finish this base up, then we can always back up with our heroes, which I think I'm going to start doing now. We also have some stuff at home to defend ourselves. We've seen these towers take care of themselves many times. No, I would ra I think I would rather eliminate these dwarves. I'm going to I'm going to stay here. What I really should do ultimately is take these extra bases, but I can't help myself. I just keep making pushes because they're so solid. I'm gonna use her ultimate in the back. If I can get her up there, like here. That should help a lot. Dragons just start hitting buildings. Grofsag, get up here and help us. Yeah, that ultimate, if you have to use it just right, but if you do, it's it's really, really good. Okay, red fist and dwarves. We also have dragons. I think we'll be okay at home. Move all these up. Now we've got Commander Fox. Dragons, get up here and help us. Vanessa, use your ultimate. And then fan of knives and blast them. And then flee if you can. Red Fist is relentless, though. They do not want us to kill these dwarves. I, I mean, I understand why not. They. Okay, now we're gonna leave. This is this is too much of a choke point, and I, my allies are gonna struggle. So let's uh, let's back up. I built another summoning circle. Where is it? 
It's right here. It's right in front of my face. Okay, just throw this down. Give me a roar. And then we're going to lose some stuff, but we got to push this wave back. I don't think I have anything left here. I got some dragons still, actually. I could use the dragons to just snipe individual buildings of the dwarves. And in fact... Nah, they have too many gyrocopters, I think. That's going to stop us. All right. See, I'm glad I, I ended when I did, because I figured that this wouldn't be... This wouldn't be over when I thought it was over. <laughs> it never is. Okay, so the dwarves have been paired away. Uh, so we can get straight to their base where necessary, but we have to... We still have to kill the... The Red Fist now. This is good whirlwind territory, if you ask me. Just use your W. Yeah, these Red Fist commanders are no joke. No joke at all. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We're alive, and we did some decent. We had, we got some decent progress. Now I, I think I'm too heavy on dragons. Make it fast. But that's arguably okay right now. I just attack my own dragon. Good work, Jay Barino. All right. That's not collapsing. That's not collapsing. Regardless. We're going to make a bunch of workers, and we're finally going to do what I said we were going to do. I keep getting distracted because I think, oh, I should... I should attack when my allies attack because it's so effective. And then I get distracted, etc., etc. So now it's time. I'm going to get some workers out. We're going to take both of these bases. We have to remember to set up additional towers to defend against air attacks. And then eventually we're going to sit our, our units just kind of up here. Now, the other thing that's happened is I need lumber. I mean, I don't need it right now, but I'm going to, I think. I mean, I'm spending it at a decent pace. Okay, we're not missing any tech. Someone call for the doctor. We're just going to make some errant towers around here to protect us from any air units that might flank us. Okay, these griffins mostly seem to be coming from the top. So I think what I'm going to do is take the top base first. It seems a little more out of the way, so I think we move on up here. And up here. And you know what? No, we're going to leave my heroes back here, and we're just going to try to set this up straight away. If we can get this set up... I don't need my heroes to defend it right away, necessarily, but I do need to just get it started, and I need enough resources available to spam towers. All right, so back to the grind. Oh, this guy got caught up in my, my big move. Okay, so you all get on lumber. I don't think it's even worth the supply for a shredder. I think the issue is the shredders cost too much supply, but it is worth it to get a big stockpile. Now, I think with our heroes, we can push back any attack, as long as they're all together, and they typically have not been. So as long as I stop letting myself get distracted because my allies are pushing out... Um, I, though, to be honest, every time they've pushed out, we've made good progress. So I, I can't really complain about that. I just need enough towers that can kill gyrocopters, which really is not that high of a requirement. And Griffin Riders, but again, not really that challenging gold. of a requirement. We need more gold. How much do they cost now? 170 is pretty pricey. These also may get attacked by ground forces, but this is why eventually I'm just going to move up and, and secure the the complete front. You know what? I can do that now. I am to I'm going to move this group up here. My up this ramp, and I'm going to defend this area. I have a single witch doctor. Wherever you are, you're going to come with us. Caster group. New caster group. New caster group. Get up here. Heroes. Dragons. This is a pretty solid group, and we're in low upkeep, which is very nice. All right, how about this? 
get in the back lines. The Red Fist back lines are, do cause a, a big issue. So if we can take them out quickly, this is the perfect way to get rid of them, too. Zelik is a pain in the dick. Uh, I, I think this is his group. I don't think he's here. Okay, very nice. Casters move on up. This is all being built. And then we're going to have to do the same thing down at the bottom. And as long as we can defend against air attacks with groups of towers, then this is absolutely fine. I don't know what wacky way they use to get to us, so just in case, I'm going to do it like this. Just set up a bunch of extra stuff. They're trying to get around me. How dare you? Where do you think you're going? Commander Fox has been a big dick in the past, so let's make sure that we respond to him appropriately this time. Him beat Grofzag, though. Pretty solid. All right, take a stun. Dragon's back up. And then I'm going to shout. Ah! Then you all back up. Inner fire. With this amount of dragons on the defense... Again, I don't want to snipe with dragons, except in very specific circumstances. Doing that for the whole map is very boring, even though it might have gone a little faster. So I'm using them. This amount of dragons, though, on the defense, though, is more than enough, and we should be fine. Okay, so this is looking good. Still waiting here. Meanwhile, I will take this base. Again, I have to do this incrementally. I don't have enough gold stockpiled to... I don't have enough gold stockpile to be able to build all of this at once. Because I next, obviously, I'm going to take this one, and uh, that puts us right at the front. This right here is able to be flanked from too many directions, so I don't think that that's the right choice right away. So, again, it's still going to be semi-slow going. Let's quick save. we got a bit of a lull right now. We just pushed back two attacks. One, two, yeah, two attacks. As the goddess wills. So let's move up even just a little bit further. Once we have these two additional gold mines, once we have these two additional gold mines, I think we'll be square. But for now, not quite there. Let's build workers and rally them down here. Need more gold. That's fine. Again, I'm just building these just in case any flyers happen to get through my random defense that I have set up. So this should be acceptable. We have room to fit workers into repair. What I really like is that we're in low upkeep. Let's try to keep that as long as possible. My allies are going. Now I have to make the decision. I don't have 100 supply. And if I do this, what tends to happen is I get put on the back foot right away because I get a little too aggressive in attacking with my allies. In position. I don't know where these Crusaders were thinking they were going. If you haven't noticed, by the way, the Red Fist units are already really good, and now these are the veteran Red Fist units, so they're even better. Okay, my heroes are pretty much all at full... full mana. Alright, buddy, we're gonna come up here and start setting this base up. So, and this is gonna be our front line of... Reinforcements. We're going to build three of each production structure up on the front lines. That's a lot of stuff. I, 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 I have to. <laughs> ah, God damn it! Somehow I knew. All right, they're going for my allies. That's fine. So we're going to set this up again. My allies can defend themselves for sure. We can at least. If we can cripple this other Red Fist base and remove another Red Fist hero, it's too good to not do. Just quick save in case it's a disaster. Okay, I need to pay attention. Okay, I don't know where Grella even is. I think we want to use her ultimate, though. She was in there. Perfect. Okay, I think she was right in there. It's really good to use when you're on the offense. Let's move on up. Give me a ward. Let's move on up. Give me a roar. Okay. Red uh, is this Zelik? Oh, is this going to be Zelik's base? It is. Hang on. We got we to gotta stun him out of this if we can. 
We got, we got it. Yeah, okay. We stunned him out of it. Good. So Zelix gone. You can stop doing that now, Grella, and use your W. It's all about knowing the timings of when, like when is the right time to go. Now here's the thing: we may very well get blasted by something because we're overextending. I'm not going to deny that, but this is absolutely worth my time to take out an entire flippin. Faction. Without a doubt. This is like, it, it doesn't get better than this. Yeah, go for the altar first. I would rather not have to fight Zelik again, because that ultimate he has... It's sort of like Avenge, but every single shot lands. You know what I mean? The Avenge meteors, they stun if they hit. His, they... they it's like Starfall, but every one stuns you, as far as I can tell, which is crazy. I don't think really anything here needs healed. That's another Red Fist base destroyed and we probably want to clean up for the most part because we want to be able to get into the dwarven base when possible okay good 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 we're under attack I'm gonna do even more okay so heroes why don't you clump up I'm gonna attack with the dragons to help kill some of these towers it looks like, again, the Dwarven stuff is, like, pretty far nested. Okay, get these guys up here. Give me a heal. I don't think Grella's ultimate is up. Just use your W on the ramp. I'm not trying to target air units. I'm just trying to use it. Okay, now we're getting healed up here. Lokar is up here as well. Dragons holding it down. I built more dragons than I wanted to, but it's fine. It'll help us win. Okay, we gotta get rid of Terengar. Ah, okay. Expected. Grand Gorhal Wolf might be on his way to help us, as well as Zermak. He might be able to cut them off. Okay, our heroes alone can handle these attack waves. I think we, we if we just use the dragons to attack with our allies, then we can make this work. Give me a roar. Just more random healing, please. And then a roar. I, are they already past my... Where did they go? We're complete. I can't tell if they're going to go for one of my expansions or if they're going to... Like, they're somewhere, obviously. They're sitting somewhere waiting to attack me, and I don't know where they went. Maybe they turned around. Okay, barracks. I just need to hit every individual. They're, they're gone. I think they... Where the heck did they go? They, again, they were a red fist. I love how my allies also send in trickles of reinforcements. I don't know why they do that. It's a little weird, but I am not going to complain because it is really, really solid. Oh, you know what? Red fist turned around because they destroyed their target. That's a little AI manipulation that I unintentionally did. All right, so let's get this loaded up. Okay, and then roar. These may I like these ogre magi because they have so much survivability. Just keep roaring. Okay, let's get our heroes back up here. If we can finish up this top dwarf base, that would be good. The thing is, the, the dwarven bases are very spread out, which allows them to rebuild their heroes and their units a lot. Like, a lot. It's <laughs> Give me another roar. Maybe we can hex that hero. If I can find him again, he's in here somewhere. There we go. All right, you're a frog now. That only lasts for a couple seconds on heroes, but it's essentially a stun. Okay, he's gone. Red Fist Fox's Shock Troopers. That sounds horrifying. All right, heroes are here. At the very least, give me a uh, large rock monster as well as a rock golem, please. 
Oh, yeah, pushing into this last Red Fist base seems like it's going to be a real nightmare. I would like to stop this hero from coming out, please. Holy shit. Stun, please. Stun, please. I, I can't even... All right, we got the altar that was getting another hero back out, I think. If we can kill these reinforcements coming in from Red Fist. I think I spun with him in a good spot. Fan of Knives! It's the only way! Oh, okay, well, that was not where I needed him to be, but it's fine. Uh, looks like we've pushed through. This is big. Okay, go for the castle now. It's hard for me to tell which of these are my units and which of them are our enemy units. More healing, please. Once again, pushing with our heroes, man. Uh, let's take a, a moment to kill these super good towers before we finish off the dwarves. Okay, let's not neglect finishing the dwarves, first of all. Whew. All right, I think now we're on the path to victory. There's only two bases left, I think, unless this Red Fist base ends up being two. But I haven't seen any other Red Fist heroes for a long time, so I think they're out. Okay, so we're gonna rally up here. Um, let's get some Impalers, Shaman, Mystics, the usual. Uh, Bloodhounds for the damage. I don't know how many of those we were able to afford, but it's fine. Great. Okay, so now we've got four bases. This one needs to be defended. It's not really in a position where it's well defended right now. Let's just let my allies take care of that first. Let's clump up my heroes at least. Yeah, getting into this is going to be tough, but actually, we've already made some pretty good progress, so let's keep it up. We want to keep Vanessa nearby for the, the bonuses. All right, let's get a heal out. Dragons, I need you hitting these towers. Commander Fox, I hate you. All right, let's use uh, Grella's ultimate right now. Force them to do some wacky stuff to get to us. I say, did we screw up where he ended up going? All right, we can stop doing that then. The dwarves continue to attack. That's okay. They bypassed my base here, which I am not going to complain about. Whew. Okay. Think. Thank you, virus and threat protection. You don't need to tell me that. What is this in-game HUD available? I don't I don't go away. Okay, there we go. Don't turn around! Don't turn around, allies! What are you doing? Okay, we need some heals up on our heroes. These towers are nasty. Fan of knives. Zap them. That's all their he that's all their um workers. I love when they do that. Okay, it was only a matter of time. Let's just send like Grafsag back to kill this guy. It's all right. I, I'll spam. I'll spam these. Uh, I'll spam workers and towers eventually. So in a way, it was you know red dragons only because I made more than I thought because I panicked. But the reason this red fist base is so strong is because it has. Um... Oh, nice low car still here. The reason this red fist base is so strong is because it has like a crazy amount of towers, like special towers, if you haven't noticed that. Uh, I think they'll survive. Did he get caught out by something? He probably went the wrong way. Okay, well, we'll rebuild him. I honestly can't afford to split my focus right now, but the middle Red Fist base, the Red Fist Elite base is gone. Okay, give me a moment. Let's go and kill this guy. Get this base set back up. Get him, Gran! 
Grand, save me! Okay, get up there. I was gonna say, where are all my reinforcements? Here are all my reinforcements. Okay, my allies are cleaning up. That's what I'm. That's what I need from them right now. He has done it. Well, Grand did stop to help us. I I, I can't complain. Okay, that'll take them a while, but they'll do it. Red dragons, come on over here. I just have like a stream of units that are just like wandering around doing stuff. So I assume it's destroy every base. There is an active dwarf base. We know this. Poor Gran. There is an active dwarf base that I could probably go and kill. It's going to run into my defenses right now. I think what I should probably do is just use red dragons to defend. They're turning around. Let's just keep attacking with our heroes right now. My allies, usually, I mean, when you get to a, through a map this big, your allies tend to do derpy stuff because they don't really know where to go or what to do. But this is acceptable. Again, one more highly concentrated dwarven base is left, and then after that, that's it. There's nothing else. Um, let's make some witch doctors, please. Right, you all get on up here. Okay, that hero's dead. Come on. Perfect. Okay, he's done it. We'll send the red dragons back to help us out. The thing with the red dragons is they're, they're essentially like flying catapults is the way I'd look at them. And they have huge survivability. But you can abuse that by making exclusively, you make like eight or nine of them, right? And then just make some witch doctors or casters to support your heroes to defend. And then you move around the map along the outskirts and snipe buildings. That is what I was trying to avoid doing. And I think I I think I effectively did. I think I, I, think I avoided that. What is your will? You think Grofzag is man enough to kill all these units? Not enough. At the very least, I can walk back to my towers that I have. Because they're coming in. Well, those are those are my harpies. Or, I mean, they're my allies' harpies, but still, they're the Dominion, they're Dominion harpies. Oh, yeah, he's good. Okay, now we have to keep cleaning this up. Heroes, just finish this up. And then I need dragons to kill these silly towers. You guys can kill this one. That's fine. What are these? Flame towers. Nice. Okay, good. So we got some war zeppelins coming in to help us out too. Oh, yep. Let's go finish this. You guys come finish this. Again, there's errant stuff around the map. We're gonna have to constantly go and kill. That guy can run to his death. Heroes back up. Man, this last dwarf base refuses to go down without, like, a really solid fight. I, I mean, I kind of went a weird way. That's fine. Of all heroes to go down, I almost expect one eye to be the one. Okay, there's still some of these elites as well, so we got to keep finishing those up. Ooh, okay. Feeling good. You guys can attack here. These will take approximately nine years to destroy. Okay, good. My allies... The nice thing, too, is your allies will... Their attacks are so large that they will help you finish this up at the end of the day. Poor Vanessa. Yeah, look at the, these dwarves. They're still reinforcing, like, individual units. Okay, so that's that. You all can finally come on up here. Finish up these farms. Maybe not necessary. I don't know. Yeah, you pillaging for me, buddy? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, see, I could have done this so much earlier, but I don't think it would have made that big of a difference. I don't think so, at least. Waiting for Vanessa seems prudent. 
Oh, okay, we have to finish. Destroy the main base. Oh, it's just that it's that one barracks. We don't we're not even required to kill the dwarves. Let's go! Edale! Finally! Yeah, so that confirms. It's the same Oh, we didn't even finish the the Derek quest. Father, I can't believe it. How could this treacherous wench do such a thing? My sister, his own daughter. How? How could this happen? He was the greatest of us. His daughter Edale was I thought she had been imprisoned. She must have been freed. While we were busy with the orcs, she must have come here through the tunnels. It's beyond me what power she must have obtained to slay him. Duke Redfist. Dead. I cannot believe it. Zelik, this cannot go unpunished. I want you to take your men and hunt this traitor down. Find her. Bring her to me. Alive. I want her to suffer for this. We're in the middle of the fight against the orcs. We can't just... Oh, you lost. We have to, Zalek. I will finish what the Duke started, but I need you to go after her. I will follow once I'm done here. Very well. Stay alive, Fox. We will meet again, Zalek. I will let you mourn him, Lady Redfist. Once I'm done with the orc savages, I will have his remains properly buried. Do what you want. Just leave me. Tepid pause. You have my word, Lady Redfist. I will find her, and I will catch her, and I will make her suffer. Tepid pause. He will fail, you know that. He cannot lead the Redfist to victory. What? Who is there? Show yourself. I'm Ibira of the Solier Legion. I want to make you an offer. Demon filth! Your kind has assisted my traitor's sister. Be gone. Oh, so you're not interested in taking your revenge on her? If that's the case, I'll just leave. Wait. Why would you help me if my if your own kind serves my sister? Your sister has allied herself with a renegade demoness and her followers, darling. They're no longer part of our legions. They're our enemies just as yours. But they are all just tools of someone who also manipulates your empire from the inside. You cannot trust your own kind. I don't care about the other enemy or the demoness. I want to make my sister suffer for what she did. And I can help you with that. How? And why would you want to help me? You want your sister's death. I want the death of the demoness she's, a she's allowed to possess her body. That means I want her death as well. I don't need your kind. The Red Fist will serve me in taking revenge. Their loyalty towards my father will force them to. Your father's crusade has failed, darling. Without him, the Red Fist stands no chance against the Barbarians, especially since there are other powers behind them. Forget about them. Come with me. I can show you how we can take revenge. Only I can help you. You tell me why I should help you, but I know how your kind treats humans who ally with you. You enslave them. What will prevent you from doing with me what this other demoness did with Edale? Don't make me laugh, mortal. Unlike that fool Lissara, I do not need a human body to sustain my spirit. I'd say my own body serves me quite well, don't you think? I still don't trust you. Then stay here and die along with the rest of the Red Fist if you please. You have to choose now. You can either stay here or follow me so I may show you how to take revenge. Tepid pause. Show me. Huh. Oh, okay, so now it's gonna force me to- now it's gonna force me to finish up, uh, the mission. I thought it was just gonna end. There's a lot of interesting things that we learned there that I would like to talk about, which we will when the mission ends. The Redfist family, man, they're everywhere. Main quest completed, Derek's Folly. It is finally over. The remaining mercenaries here have given up and the, after the death of their leader. The soldiers of the Red Fist have either been slain or imprisoned. Yes, I've heard how the ones who were imprisoned spat insults not only against us, but also against some Edale, who apparently was the one who killed their leader while we were fighting. We have been unable to find his corpse, however. Oh, 
According to the mercenaries, his daughter Ori was with him. I imagine that she took his corpse with her. Let us hope that this is the case, Grella. We do not need him coming back from the dead to haunt us once more. Amari, we have a problem. What is it, One-Eye? According to the captured mercenaries, the human faction known as the Golden Guard is about to finish the construction of a powerful weapon they call the Purificator. This weapon, they claim, is a massive cannon that can shoot anywhere. Yeah, but aren't we behind it? In Salria? I don't know if that matters. I assume it can turn. I assume they want to use it against the demons, and then against us. How powerful is this weapon supposed to be, One-Eye? They couldn't tell me. However, apparently the human engineer who's building it is considered some kind of genius. My experience tells me to expect the worst. That's Lord Marin. I see. Inform Pechen. I want him to be the to be with me on this one. Tell him to prepare the Zeppelins. We're heading off to Carol. <laughs> Aye. So deep behind enemy lines. That's going to be dangerous, my friend. Pechen's like, oh, you needed me? Here's some missiles. I know, but we have no other choice. It was inevitable that we'd have to join the war in the Northern Realm sooner or later. We cannot allow the humans to use this weapon against us. And we also cannot allow the demons to gain a foothold there. I agree with your wisdom. I will tell my troops to prepare for battle. Amari. Yes, Master. I'm alone. We can talk. Gardan has tried to take the Purificator from the Golden Guard, but his attack has failed! He was forced to retreat. It all depends on you now. <laughs> okay. Destroy the Golden Guard and either take or destroy their weapon. Then you and your forces will be all that stands against the demons. I feared this would happen. I cannot help you this time, my apprentice, but there will be others. I'm confident you can finish what Gardon started. You can count on me, Master. The Dominion will destroy the Golden Guard and the demons. It is time for this war to end. I like the sound of there will be others. It's unclear who may be coming to our aid here. So, this, what I wanted to talk about really has to do with what happened with Red Fist, but also what's happening in the next chapter, which is we're going to have to be taking the Golden Guard Fortress and the Purificator. So, you know, I've talked about this. It's kind of a nebulous idea, right? You either understand it or you're totally lost. And if you're totally lost, I'm sorry, I have no better way to explain it to you. But the timeline of Arcane with the parallel timelines, etc., etc. For those of you who are with me, you kind of understand how I've talked about there's sort of like a canon story of Arcane. We don't really know what that is because all the perspectives we've had on it involve us, the player, being able to succeed where sometimes, if left to their own devices, certain factions would not succeed and the story would play out. What we've learned, I think, in like the canon of Arcane, where there is no player intervention, is that Edale goes evil, she kills her father. Uh, we've also learned that Gardon is unable to take the fortress. So back in chapter 11, I think it was, uh, where Gardon um, attempts to take the fortress, he it doesn't sound like he's necessarily dead, but he just fails. I think Gardon is the canon choice, and playing as uh, Vanduris is not the canon choice. Playing as Gardon is, but apparently he also loses. So now the Dominion has to come and pick up the pieces. And what would be even more interesting is if we made it to the second Undead book and we find out that even the Dominion failed and then the Undead have to pick up the pieces. So again, I don't know. Somewhere in there, Shar has like a definitive story of like what Arcane would be if it wasn't told through like a human book, an Orc book, or an Undead book. It was simply the book of Arcane, right? We don't know what that is, but we can we have to conclude it for ourselves based on these different perspectives. And again, what we've learned is that Gardon is unable to take the canon for himself, so now we have to do it. Which is and we don't even know if in the 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 grand book of Arcane, if the Dominion would even necessarily succeed. But regardless, it's really, really interesting. Um and and so now the Red Fist sisters I think are really interesting. So you've got Vanessa, Edale, Ori, and Cora. And what I find really interesting about the Red Fist sisters that has occurred to me that now that Ori is off with Ibira, Ibira is sort of representative of the demons. Uh, I think that, so Ori is with the demons. Korra, at the end of the second human book, goes to Eridon. So she's affiliated with the undead. Edale is possessed by Lysara, who is affiliated with the Dark One, which leaves Vanessa. And if you're following my logic here, what I'm 
puzzling here is that the, each Red Fist sister is associated with one of the four demigods. So I assume that Van that leaves Vanessa, who is human slash dominion, which is essentially reflective of Brian. I think. Maybe. Vanessa also is undead uh, in the first orc, or the first undead book. So maybe Vanessa is the one that's undead and um, Cora is the one that will end up being Master of Shadows affiliated. But I assume because Vanessa is human and orc, those two factions, I think, are most affiliated with Brian at this point because he has a hand in Zueno Reborn and the Dominion. So, I, again, I think each sister, in a way, is becoming affiliated with one of the four demigods. And there may be implications to that that we see in the second Undead book or even, like, a third follow-up whatever after the second books are done. Anyway, that's just me speculating on the plot. This mission was really, really fun now that it has been updated. It was still very hard. But uh, I really liked the perpetual push that you had to keep uh, if you wanted to complete this in a timely manner at all. Also, there seemed to be some relatively uh, high anti-air defenses added in so that it, you, know, you were encouraged to not just make dragons. Which, again, I, I really never want to do that. I did it in Chapter 12 because the mission was built around the fact that you should make dragons. Whereas this mission, not so much. Uh, we'll head into Chapter 14 and see if maybe we can keep that roll on. We'll see if it's... I assume it's going to be the same map that we played so many times in the second human book, but we'll see. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching, especially this long after note by me. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.